Mama, what's up my mama maniacs? This ring light is burning my brain. If you're not already subscribed, please subscribe now. Click the like button on this video, unless you hate it. And then if you don't, then I'm sure it'll be a different vlog next time, so just tune in. All right, so today, as I told you before, this was a tasting challenge vlog. We're going to be tasting the Munchkin Pack. I'm very much so looking forward to it. Munchkin. Uh, yes, it's gonna be fun. Whoa. All right, so. She's got scissors. Ah, I don't have Tabby in her box whoa. cutter. Whoa, whoa. Am I hurting you? Did I touch you? It closed. She never closes scissors, by the way. She just put them there open. And then our kids grab them. How's that bus feel? <laughs> he farted on, <laughs> on Christmas Eve for the first time. I mean, as long as we're putting our dirty laundry out there, I might as well, right? That makes no sense. <laughs> wow. No, seriously, Joe never farts in front of me, but he's farted two times in our entire relationship. Mind you, we've been together 10 plus years. Tara farts, he farted. <laughs> Tara farts every two minutes in our relationship. It's true, but I'm, that shows that I'm comfortable with you. But he's only It shows that you smell, <laughs> and you should eat differently. <laughs> All right, so let's start off with what the Munchkin Pack looks like when you open it. It's really cute. Look at all that goodies. It's like covered. This one was made by Nick. Thank you, Nick, for making my box. And the fun has begun. What is this? The first thing I'm looking at is this Milkita. It's cappuccino shake candy. Milkita. Milkita is from... Jersey. <laughs> Product of Indonesia. Let's try it. There we go. Oh, it's like little tiny pre-packaged milkitas. I don't know if you're supposed to throw an accent on it. I like throwing an accent. I can tell. It's chewy. I like it. What do you think? Yeah, it's good. It'd be a good like, don't fall asleep on a car ride kind of candy to shove in your mouth while you're needing to drive. I concur. Okay, next. There's soda in here. What is that, bacon? Those, those pork rinds right there? I didn't even see that, let's do it. Okay, so this one says it is made in, it's called Babitos Bacon Bits. Babitos Bacon Bits. And it's not made anywhere near Mexico. And it's, <laughs> no, it's uh, Brazilian. So I still get to roll my arms. <laughs> Fabitos bacon bits are made in <laughs> Delaware. <laughs> Wait, I think it's Brazilian. You just made that up, didn't you? No, it says Industria Brasil Brasileira. Obrigado! All right, let's try it. I don't see an actual address of where they came from, though. Oh, made in Brazil. All right. All right. Let me see though. I gotta look at the ingredients to see if I can eat it. But it's in Spanish, so how do I know? Prepared condiment, artificial bacon, artificial bacon flavor. You're good. And it contains ketchup. Wow. All right, I think I can try it. I haven't had beef or pork in a really long time, but I'm sure that things have been made with those like greases before and I've eaten them not knowing, but I haven't had, I mean, it's been years. When was the last time you remember me eating burgers? I don't know, but I slipped you the beef last night. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, first things first. Smell them. I don't know. They smell like Fritos. They kind of do. They don't smell bad. They kind of look like Fritos. They're fake Fritos. Man, this tastes like they sent you this three years ago. <laughs> I'm full. Cool. I'm definitely more of a salty girl, and I thought I would love these. I don't even get a bacon flavor there, do you? Do you? No, but it's got like a smoky, like, I'm just not a fan of the flavor. All right, next, I'm just gonna, what's the first thing that I reach for? It's, ooh, it's a Kit Kat. Who doesn't love a Kit Kat? Ooh, peanut butter Kit Kat. I've never had a peanut butter Kit Kat. This one is made in Poland. Yes, Team Poland. He's half. Polish, so he feels like he's totally 
Or, you, wait, you're not even half Polish. You're like 40% Polish. Whoa, 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 whoa. Right? Because didn't you find out you're part Jewish too? I am part Polish, whereas you are not Mexican at all. I never said it was Mexican. But you act like it. No, I just have a really good accent. A little fake accent. Okay. That's a strange Kit Kat, but... It's a really it's a big Kit Kat, one. so I can handle it. It's really big. The peanut butter Kit Kat, I never thought I'd see the day. So I like to eat my Kit Kats, like I separate them. I usually eat the top and then the bottom and then the side. See what I'm dealing with here? And so I'm gonna eat this just the same way that I would eat my normal Kit Kat. I don't think you should. Because people are gonna think you're insane. It's really good. It's like a Reese's Pieces had a baby with a Kit Kat. Kit Kat! Y'all need to have peanut butter Kit Kat in the US. Go Poland. Team Poland. Good job. There's more? There's a lot more, baby. Wow. Pick something out. Holy moly. This thing's huge. Bourbon Petite Chio Lemon Potato Chips. Open, please, and tell me where it's from. Uh, this would be from, oh, it's from Japan. Made in Japan. I like it because also in the munch box, munch box, munch pack, they, even if the packaging is in a different language. Oh yeah, look at this. They'll put They're mini Pringles. English on so cute. A paper, like on a sticker on every single container so, so you can cute. read it. So cute and mini Pringles. Oh, they are cute. There are mini Pringles. What does it taste like? It's got a hint of lemon. Lemony Pringles? Yeah, they're pretty good. Oh yeah. There's a lemon on the package. I could, I could get into that. It's like salty and sweet. Yeah, that's pretty good. This is good for my high blood pressure. <laughs> Once you start, you can't stop. I'm a fan. We're good. All right, next. Let's get the taffy out of the way. You know what these are? The mass. The body of Christ was a Pringle. That's what this is. What do we got here? Uh, All right. Starburst ripoff? Nope. It, this is called uh, Tiny Taffy, or is it Tinny Taffy? T-I-N-N-Y. I'm going to go with Tinny. Tinny Taffy. Tinny Taffy. It's by Zazzers. Taffy's gonna get my tea. It's made in the UK. Zazzers, it's made in the UK. It's raspberry. I don't like raspberry. Are you serious? I hate raspberry flavored things, but I love raspberries. Are you kidding me? It's same with watermelon. Like, I don't like watermelon flavored things. I don't like banana flavored things, but I love both of those. There's like little tiny ones inside of each little Cheers. packet. Cheers. Oh, that's chewy though. That is chewy. These are really good though. You like it? I will say, for taffy, they're pretty great. Get it, Timmy Taffy, get it. It's similar to Nour Laters. They're better than Nour Laters. Next. I might as well open this soda to wash it all down. There you go. You do that, I'll open another one. You know what this is? Bigga. Bigga is the name of it, babe. Looks like someone uh, got your version of a Wonder Bar. Oh my gosh, if that was a Wonder Bar, I'm gonna be in heaven. It's the same colors. It's from uh, Australia. Down on the mic. All right, Bigga Pineapple flavored soft drink. It's from Jamaica. I'm stoked because here's one thing, a fun fact about me. So like, you know how I said I don't like raspberry flavored or banana flavored or... Watermelon. Well, yeah, I don't like water. Like I hate watermelon Jolly Ranchers. Uh -oh. I do love anything pineapple flavored. I love pineapple flavored gummy bears. I love pineapple soda. Bigga Smalls. I don't know what to expect with that. Oh, it smells amazing. It smells like cactus cooler. Is there weed in there? It's from Jamaica, man. It's definitely different than cactus cooler, but it's really delicious. Whoa, that is weird. I don't like it. <laughs> All right, what is that? I don't know. Rugrats, Nickelodeon. It's got a really cool thing. It's made in the US. Turns your tongue ice blue, but it's chocolate. Milk chocolate bar filled with blue frosting that turns your tongue blue. So here's the packaging. It's like a rug rat. If any of y'all have ever had this in the US, please put it in the comments. I'm curious. Let me see your tongue. Let me see your tongue. And there is like blue filling in between it. It's good. It's chocolate. It's a chocolate bar. I, I, don't, I don't like it. It's too much sweet for me. I like it. Well, it's all you, baby. Bye. I'm still gonna eat it because I secretly want a blue tongue. You have a blue tongue? Yeah. Let me see yours. No, let me see your whole tongue. No. Let me see it. No. Ah! <laughs> Next. Show me your tongue. Ow! Your tongue is not blue. Let me see. <laughs> Let's do another uh, 
Poland. Okay, that's from Poland? Yeah. And then we're going down on the... Yeah, then we'll go to chocolate. This one is Frugo Sour Gummy Bears Fruity Covering from Poland. I love Poland, represent. You don't hear much about us. Gummy Bears had a baby with... Sour? Is it sour? Mm-hmm. I love these, but I love everything gummy. They're Sour Patch Kids. Mm. Sour Patch Kids has like a soft spot in my heart, but they are dang good. I would totally buy these if I was living in Poland. It's the way it shatters that matters. Oh, that's a fun little tagline. Nestle Violet Crumble, crunchy honeycomb bar covered with sweet milk chocolate. Australia. I can't wait to go down under. Do <laughs> you want some of this? Yes, I do. Can I show everybody what it looks like? It's called the Violet Crumble. Oh, wow. it's weird. It's a it has like a wafer nougat kind of center. Wow. The way it shatters does matter. <laughs> it breaks off super easy. That's one of the craziest things of I feel like I'm kind of eating a rock with chocolate around it. It's one of the craziest things I put in my mouth from the munch pack. Wow. I'm yeah. Eat, it, I'm eating gravel. But then it kind of, like, the gravel just disintegrates. It's like, right. it's almost like it's got a cotton candy thing where it's hard, but then once your saliva touches it, it just like melts in your mouth. That's a trip. It's pretty good though. It's pretty trippy. Okay. Y'all need to know I love Pockies. Pocky! I do, I love Pockies. I'm very pumped about these Pockies. These Pockies are from Japan. If you live in the US, most Pockies you can get like at an Asian grocery store. It, they're delicious. If you haven't had Pockies, you should try them. They come in all different kinds of flavors. This one specifically is Glico Winter Melty Pocky. Crunchy biscuit sticks with layered of white chocolate and cocoa chocolate cream. Oh, I've never had anything with a cream attached to it. What do you think about this compared to a regular Pocky? It's good. I see why it's called Christmassy. It's got like a, what is that flavor that I'm picking up? Is that cinnamon? Everything should be served on edible sticks. And it I, would make and everything I mean, a lot easier. And I mean everything, like a steak or pasta. Mm -hmm just be wrapped in a stick and you eat the whole thing. All right, that's delicious. Next, Cadbury Star Bar. Cadbury. By the UK. Your wankers. A chewy Cosmos of peanut and caramel. I was in London once and there was this little kid that was just so incredibly adorable. And I was like, he had to have been around two maybe. And he told me to bugger off. <laughs> I love that kid. <laughs> that kid's awesome. He was like, bugger off. <laughs> like all like, like don't talk to me. And he was like two. Americans scare a lot of people. I don't think he knew that I was American. I was just waving at him. Oh, dwarves scare a lot of people. That, that much is true. They scare me. Honestly, all kids annoy me except for our own, so. Yeah, I'll ask Joe. Hey, you want to go to the beach? She's like, our kid's going to be there. <laughs> I'm like, probably. He's like, no, nah, I'm good. Yeah, other people's kids, not so much. All right, let's try this Star Bar. I feel like I've had this before, and I feel like it's slightly close to a Wonder Bar, which happens to be my all-time favorite. I'm just going to take a bite, babe, because my fingers are getting all chocolatey. Oh my gosh, it's so close to a Wonder Bar. Oh, it's gooey. Okay. It's so close to a Wonder Bar. I'll let you have the rest, because Wonder Bar is your favorite. Ah! For me, this is my all-time favorite in the bag. I'm so glad I saved it to last. I think Cadbury makes the Wonder Bar. Good job, Cadbury. So I will say, Star Bar, you're my jam. If you're not already subscribed on the channel, please subscribe now. Ah, if you like vlogs like this or you want to see more, just put them in the comments below. Did you have a good time? I had a good time. Did you have a good time? I had a great time. <laughs> All right. Peace. Peace. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching. I'm killing this thing.